Hi there. Uh, there was a question posted on Facebook today asking how do I add an HDR image to my environment inside Blender. And it's fairly simple. Uh, in case you don't know what an HDRI image is, it's essentially a panoramic image, a 360 image, that helps illuminate your scene. So let's get started. Several ways to do this. Uh, the quickest way that I personally find is if you go to the shading tab, uh, let's get rid of this. If you right click here, join, make it bigger, and if we go to rather than the object shading nodes and go to world, you'll see that it has a background plate. Now generally what most people do is they'll actually drag the image on and connect that. And that's technically the wrong thing to do. Because we actually need an environment node. So there's several ways we can do this. We can go to add texture and drop down an environment node or you can use a keyboard shortcut shift and A and pretty much follows the same principle. And we'll just drop down an environment texture. Simply open it up, select the HDR that you've downloaded. Now if you don't know where to get an HDR image, I highly recommend HDR Haven. There's a whole array of HDR images. So go and grab yourself one, and let's just, for example, I'm using Studio here. Let's quickly jump into the render mode. And all you do is simply connect it. And you'll automatically see that your HDR image has been added to the scene. So this helps illuminate it. So you may be able to drop the strength. If you feel it's overexposing, you can drop the strength down. You can also add in a vector node, and you can change the rotation. So there's another tip here, uh, if you hit control and space, it'll actually enlarge whatever window you're moused over. If you'd like to disconnect nodes, you can hold control and right click and actually sever the link. So you're probably thinking, how do I get rid of the background? If you go into your render settings here and go down to film and quickly hit transparent, that'll make the background transparent for rendering. And that's pretty much how you light your scene with an HDR image. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit the buttons. Peace.